Hey guys, today we're going to do some mechanical advantage practice problems. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we've got three problems that we're going to work on. The first one says calculate the IMA if the effort distance is 1.34 feet and the resistance distance is 0.75 feet. When we solve problems, it's really important that we do so consistently. So you will always hear me, to, hear me tell you that you should be solving problems the exact same way every single time. So the first thing that I want to do in this problem is I want to look at the information that we are given and make a list. So the first thing that I see in this problem is that they are asking us to calculate the IMA. IMA stands for Ideal Mechanical Advantage. And they're telling us that the effort distance is 1.34 feet. The resistance distance is defined as 0.75 feet. So with those three things, I can make my list. So IMA is what I am looking for. That's my unknown. The effort distance, we define that as DE and that's going to be 1.34 feet. The resistance distance is going to be dr, and that's going to be 0 0.75 feet. Okay, the formula that we use for ideal mechanical advantage is IMA is equal to DE divided by dr. In this case, we are looking for IMA. That is our unknown in the equation. Okay, so if that's what we're looking for, we don't need to move anything around, so we can just plug directly into our formula here. So DE is 1.34 feet, and DR is 0 0.75 feet. So we just grab a calculator, and I have one sitting here next to me. So 1.34 divided by 0.75 is uh, 1.78 times 786 repeating. Okay, given that both of our numbers, well, this number has three digits in it and the other one has two, I'm going to go ahead and just round this to the third digit, the second decimal in this case. So the 6 turns that 8 into a 9, so our number is going to be 1.79. Now every answer that we have needs to have units, and because what we're looking for is mechanical advantage, the units of mechanical advantage are a ratio notation. They don't really have units, but we write it like this. So the answer here would be 1.79 to 1. What this means is that it requires a little less than half of the original force to move whatever this object is or to lift whatever this object is. Okay, so that's the first problem. Second problem says that we are calculating the effort distance if the IMA is 2.33 to 1 and the resistance distance is 1.25 feet. Okay. Same deal. I'm going to solve this problem in the same process that I did before. We're going to have to do a little bit more work here, and you'll see why in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and make my list. In this case, I am looking for effort distance. So DE is my unknown. IMA is given, ideal mechanical advantage, is given as 2.33 to 1. And our DR is going to be 1.25 feet. Okay. Our starting formula is the same because we have the same stuff in our equation. So IMA equals DE divided by DR. This time though, we are looking for DE. DE is our unknown. Now here's the problem. In the previous problem, IMA was already equal to what we were looking for. If you were thinking of it as a solve for X situation, well, there's X. X equals blah blah blah. In this case, X, in, or DE, is stuck inside of this equation. So we need to rewrite the equation to solve for our unknown. We need an equation that says DE equals. So that means that we need to get DE by itself. 
right now DE is being divided by DR. So if we want a formula that says DE equals blah blah blah, we've got to get rid of that DR. So the way that we get rid of the DR is we do the opposite operation that it is currently have acting on it. So right now it's being divided. The opposite of division is multiplication. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply both sides by DR. And then this DR here cancels because this is technically DR divided by DR. And DR divided by DR is 1. So it just goes away. But I don't want to cross it out and get rid of it here. I want to leave this. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. And I'm actually going to flip it around. I'm going to put DE on the left side. I could write it the other way too. It doesn't make a difference. So DE is equal to DR times IMA. And that's our equation solved for DE. So we can go ahead and plug in our numbers here. Notice that I didn't plug in numbers until I got my algebraic equation for DE. Please make a good practice of doing that. That will prevent you from making mistakes or putting numbers in the wrong place. So DR is equal to 1.25 feet. I'm keeping my units here with my numbers so that I know what that number is supposed to be. And I'm going to multiply that by IMA. So 2.33 to 1. I'm keeping my units with my numbers and I'm putting my numbers that I plopped in here in place of these variables in parentheses so that I can remember that, oh, that's where there's no, those numbers came from. Okay, so I'm going to grab my calculator, 1.25 1 1 times 2.33 and I get 2.9125, which again I'm going to round to three digits because I have three digits up here. And that gives me 2.91 as my number. My units for distance are going to be feet because that's what I used with dr. And that is our effort distance. Okie dokie, let's look at this third problem. It says calculate the resistance distance if the IMA is 0.75 to 1 and the effort distance is 1.65 feet. Now before we do anything, let's talk about what this number means. Having an IMA of less than 1 means that it requires more force to move an object than that object actually weighs. And you might be thinking, well, why would you design a machine that makes it harder to do something? And we'll talk about that later in class when we talk about levers. But there is an actual engineering application for doing more work than is required. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our list. So we're looking for dr. dr equals question mark. And our IMA is 0 0.75 to 1. And our effort distance is 1.65 feet. So de equals 1.65 feet. Right? Yeah. Okay. So our starting equation is the same. IMA is equal to DE divided by DR. But this time we need DR. Now I'm going to do this the long way first and then I'm going to show you the Mr. Adams is lazy method for math. But I'm going to do this the same way that I did before. I want DR by itself. How do I get dr by itself? Well, first I got to get it out of that denominator. It's being divided right now, so I need it to not be divided. So I'm actually going to multiply it on both sides just like we did a second ago. So this will cancel. I'm going to rewrite my equation. dr times IMA is equal to de. But we still don't have dr by itself. It's being multiplied by IMA here. So we got to get rid of that. So IMA is being multiplied. So we're going to divide this time, but instead of moving DR, we're going to move IMA. 
So this cancels with this, and we're left with dr equals de divided by ima. Now what I'm hoping that you notice here, and I'll rewrite the original equation, ima equals de divided by dr. Notice that dr and ima switched places. So you have my official permission from here on out to use the Mr. Adams lazy method for fractions, which is that if you are looking for the object that is in the denominator, in this case our dr, then you can switch it places with the object on the other side of the equation, on, on the other side of the equal sign. Because that trick works. So this is our formula. dr is equal to de divided by ima. And the very, very, very key thing here is that this part of the equation didn't move at all. The other two did. de stays in its place. OK, so plugging in here, de is 1.65 feet. And our ima is 0 0.75 to 1. By the way, I don't know if I've said this, but when you are plugging an IMA or an AMA into the calculator, you do not plug in the ratio notation. It's just like a unit. You just leave it off. So I'm going to plug in 1.65 divided by 0.75, and I get 2.2 feet. Now, it is worth noting here that our effort distance where we are applying the force ourselves is 1.65 feet and the distance to the resistance or where our object or our load is that we're lifting is more than that. And that's because we have less leverage on our object. That's why our mechanical advantage is 0.75 to 1. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop the video here, but I will make a second video, which you should be able to click on from YouTube, that will take you to a video about calculating actual mechanical advantage. So I'll see you in the next video.